What time is it, my creatives? That's right, it's photo hacking time. And today I wanna to talk to you about file conversion. Yay! I know it sounds really techy, but I love programs that do mundane tasks for free. And there's a lot of old school software out there that can do many things that that can just basically streamline uh, things, probably things that you didn't know that you could do, and I'm gonna teach you today how to do them. So I'm all about solving problems, okay? So I decided to go through all of my files and start organizing because I'm super OCD and I just have to like freaking organize like all the time. I don't know what's wrong with me. But anyways, I digress. So I come across all these strange files. Uh, I don't know how to open them. I don't know how long they've been on my computer. I don't know exactly where I got them from. But if you look at the, um, the extension here, you can see exactly what type of file they are. Okay, so this is a PSP file. So if you do go Google search, you can find out what kind of PSP file is and how to open it. Now, when you initially Google this type of thing, you will find that a lot of companies will have all these pop-ups for you to pay for it, or they will be these online conversions, and they'll only let you convert like 25 megs, and they'll be like, oh, if you wanna convert the rest of this file, you're gonna have to pay some money. So it's super annoying and I found a free program to convert every single thing that you ever wanted to. And then also, um, if you haven't already, if you would check out my other video where I tell you how to customize your desktop, and this little program right here lets you create any type of icon that you want from any image. So it is also free, Greenfish, uh, Greenfish, ugh. I can't talk. Greenfish Icon Editor Pro, and it's absolutely free. And this isn't the original icon. I changed the icon of this program to make it a little cooler. So um, if you haven't already, you should watch the video on how to customize your desktop. So let's let's get into it. So here's my problem. I know I got a little sidetracked there because I'm, you know. ADHD, OCD. I have so many mental health problems, it's not even funny. <laughs> I try to cure it with coffee and nicotine and just, yeah. All right, so, yeah, I just lost my train of thought. Does that happen to you guys? Because it happens to me. So I'm trying to open this stupid program. Okay, so I've already, um, not a program, a folder. So I've already converted these and this was one of the PSP files, okay? So I'm also gonna teach you, once you com convert it to, like, I converted it to a ping. You can convert it to a JPEG or whatever you want, but these files are too small and too low resolution to work with, so I'm gonna also teach you guys in the next video on how to, because uh, I don't wanna make this video too long, um, in the next video how to convert this into a vector and then you can you know resize that and make it really really large brush and then you can also use ABR mate which I'm gonna put this on my blog with links and everything in the description um, to so you can download the software it's absolutely free uh, ABR mate I'm gonna put it on um, my actual website because a lot of people complain that they can't find a copy that is clean that's not filled with viruses because i know softpedia and all those other places they like freaking hijack your computer i know so i'm going to give you a safe version of that and abr mate is basically you can change any photoshop brush into like pictures you know instead of having the photoshop brushes so you can take those those brushes into, say for instance, um, Infinity Designer or some other program that you wanted to use. But it does not retain any of the dynamic qualities, so you would have to go back in and add those dynamic qualities in the other programs. That's the only downfall of that. Okay, so getting back to the subject. So our fan view is basically 
a software from fosshub.com and it allows you to convert any file you want into a ping jpeg or whatever so you want to make sure that you choose the one that says all plugins because i actually installed the regular windows installer and then it didn't work at first so you want to make sure that you have all the plugins and installed and i believe that it's only for windows i don't i don't know if it's if they have a mac version um sorry about that that's one of the reasons I'm, reasons why I have a PC because um, there's so much more software except for you know like creating fonts and stuff like there are some things on Mac that I want and I covet but for the most part you know like hacking stuff and hacking files you're you're gonna find more easier ways to do it on the PC so yeah so you just download that you don't have to <laughs> you don't have to donate to them but you can I mean that's obviously nice but it's absolutely free and you want to choose this one the one that says all plugins of course okay so once you have that you're just gonna double click to open it up okay and the first thing that I would do is I would set a folder where you want to convert your files okay and um, a folder a folder where um, where you're going to drag it so basically I've already converted the the flourishes and they were in here but I'm actually using this folder to basically convert one at a time and I've already organized my files so here's my files I've already organized them in little neat uh, folders where they go because <laughs> I'm <laughs> OCD so we're just gonna take this one and I'm gonna show you how cool this is now um, the way I set it up is you're going to go into file and you can choose back batch conversion rename and it's going to give you this little interface here. Okay. And I have it set for the output. You have to pay attention to this because this is the output settings output ping portable network graphic, which is a ping file. Okay. And then this is already set to the folder flourishes, but I actually already did that one. So I'm going to go down to my folder, which uh, other programs to convert. It's in the PSP. And I am, I selected all files. So it will find all files to convert. And these are all the files that it can convert to. Look at that, that's crazy, right? Yeah, so it, it can convert anything pretty much, like almost everything. So it can convert Corel files, it, it can convert EXE, you know, lossless, G, G, MP3s, PMB, all just all kinds of crazy stuff in here. I haven't really looked at everything. I just click all files and see if it will let me convert. So I'll just click in here and then, um, it's gonna it's gonna convert everything and then you can actually look in the viewer here at the bottom to see what you're converting and it's gonna be in black and white of course because these are Photoshop brushes and some of these might not convert they might be corrupted so I mean you could save what you can what you can't you know whatever you know what I mean but so I'm just gonna click add all and then you just click this button, start batch. And it says there were errors nine. So I'm gonna exit the batch and see what what we got here. Oh, we gotta go to converted. Okay, so like I said, it only converted those first um, nine because I think the way that these are coded, um, let's, let's go back to the PSP in the books. So these are named something different down here. I, I don't. I think it's a PS. It's a PSP script file. So I think these are the same, but but they're just they're just named a script file. So I think they're exactly the same. I don't think that we lost anything here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and delete these because I've already converted these. So I don't forget. Am 
might not let me do that because it's saying that it's open in another program. Okay, whatever. Nope. Okay, Windows is stupid like that sometimes. Okay, so broken blood vessels. Okay, so now we can go back out and I'm, I'm just going to, I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna cut these out. This is how I organize this. I don't know, you can do it any way you want, but now that I know that these are converter, I'm gonna name the book, or I shouldn't name the books because they are books. That's plural, right? You could tell I got pretty bad grades in English. <laughs> and math. <laughs> I can't count or spell or like be grammatic, you know what I mean? But I'm really smart in every other area. And like, I have a friend tell me like, how can you be like so smart, but so dumb? And I'm like, I don't even know. <laughs> so yeah, mm. sometimes you have to talk shit about yourself. Okay, so let's do it again. Cause sometimes it takes repetition. Let's just try it one more time. And um, so I'm gonna go in here and open. I'm gonna go to desktop. Wait, 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 this is not how we did it. Oh, batch conversion rename. See, I'm forgetting already. I'm so forgetful. All right, so we want to go in here and we want to choose our folder. Oh man, I'm having to concentrate so hard today. I want to see if I can convert anything else. Let's see if I can convert these slut files. They're called suit files, but I like to call them set files. Ugh. All files. It says no preview is possible. I want to see if I'm, I'm able to convert these. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't um, convert uh, suit files. So I will actually have to find another program for that. So let's go back to batch conversion rename and we're gonna go to eh, other programs convert and we're gonna go to PSP and we're gonna do broken blood vessels. And this one will do all files. Okay, so you can see that you can do the preview here. These brushes aren't that great. So I could probably make these myself, but I just wanted to take a look at these. You can take a look at them. Most of these brushes that you have to convert, they're probably shitty anyways. <laughs> but if you wanted to learn how to do this, I mean, I'm just letting you know in case you didn't. So these are the script files. We could probably delete these script. Can I delete in here? Yeah, I can. That's cool. Okay, so this is Moss. I mean, that looks pretty cool. I could probably convert these. I, I think I would like to have Moss. I could always increase the resolution um, by converting these to a vector and then making them larger so they'll be, you know, a higher quality brush. We could see if we could fix them, you know. And it's it's always easier to fix something else than to recreate it. So no files in the input list. Okay, so um Oh, I forgot to click the button at all. This is very tedious. You have to do it exactly the way it says. So you might have to watch this video over again. As you can see, I'm making mistakes myself, even though I've done this like six times. Sometimes, you know, repetition is key. So I'm gonna start the batch. And you know that they, they did good because over here you will see that you didn't have any errors. So I'm gonna exit the batch and see what we got here. So if you open up the file, whoops, no, I don't wanna open up. <laughs> By the way, I just wanna say that I hate Windows 10. 
Okay, so these are semi-okay. I mean, these are really low resolution. And it's, I could probably have, I would probably be able to paint this and like recreate it like better. You know what I mean? Or even just taking a photo of moss and then just, cause look how fuzzy it is. I don't, I don't think this is fixable. Some things can be fixable, but like, why would I waste my time doing that? I could probably just paint this, you know, I don't know, but this is, if you have files and you want to do this, this is how you do it. So, um, the other way, the JPEG, you want to use ABR Mate. Okay, so here's ABR Mate. Okay, so I'm opening up ABR Mate, and first I have to find a Photoshop brush. So, one second, please. Okay, so I found a brush. Um, and what you're going to do is you're just going to open up the ABR Mate by double clicking on it. And then you want to open a brush set. You can just drag and drop. No, you can't drag and drop. I lied. So <laughs> you don't go out to the desktop like old school because you can't drag and drop and just click on these brushes. And then all the pictures will show up here. And then you can export all open brushes to pinks. Um, and you can doesn't need a folder. I'm gonna just put. I'm gonna just name this PP. Okay. I don't know why I named it that. I just did. Okay. So we're going down, and we're just gonna find the folder named PP, and press OK. It also lets you make a new folder, but oh, whatever. And then so. Now you have all of these brushes as pings, okay? So if you don't have Photoshop and say for instance you have GIMP or you're using some other type of program, you know, you can convert your brushes, your Photoshop brushes, wherever into um, ping files. And then you can take those ping files anywhere. And now Procreate actually allows you to import uh, ABR files so you don't need this anymore. And if you use ABR Mate as an app on your phone, they actually charge you money for it, but it's actually free on the desktop. So I just wanted to let you guys know about these conversion possibilities. And I'm still going to search how to convert these other files. Um, where is the folder at? <laughs> Hold on. I am still looking how to convert ArtRage files, JBR files, PST files, and suit files. So um, I believe I I um, paint storm brushes or whatever. So if any of you guys are watching and you know a program that can convert any of these files, let me know so I can tell my viewers and we could share this information. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I noticed that some of you guys aren't subscribing, but you're watching the videos. So it really helps me out if you just sit, just subscribe to it. I'm not a crazy person. Yes, I am. No, actually, <laughs> no, no, I'm seriously like, I really wanna help you guys learn Photoshop and learn, you know, techie stuff. So I don't just give videos about like, you know, Photoshop. I also help you with a computer and, you know, to help you with anything that's nerdy and arty. <laughs> so yeah, so please hit the subscribe button and thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a wonderful day.